Uh, nice view from up here, Petunia. Yes, very nice, Joe. Warn tires kill. Warn tires kill? Are our tires worn, Joe? Yeah, oh, I wouldn't think so, Petunia. Well, I expect you've looked. You have looked, haven't you, Joe? Joe, have you looked at our tyres? Uh, yes. Uh, Recently, Joe. <laughs> nice view from up here, Petunia. Joe, are our tyres warm? It's not warm, Petunia. They're a bit smooth. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Carbon monoxide from faulty gas appliances can kill. By law, landlords must have all appliances they provide safety checked by Corby registered installers. Ask for proof now, or tonight it could be you. Children, medicines look like sweets. If they can reach them, they'll eat them. So keep all medicines out of reach and don't keep them once you're better. I wonder what they're doing up there. This has gone very quiet, hasn't it? That was a public information film. Please give us a pound, or we'll have to pull the trigger. You wouldn't do this to a teddy bear. You wouldn't teach it to dance by burning its feet. You wouldn't drill through its nose and palate to make room for a rope or a chain. You wouldn't hack off its paws to make soup or tear out its gallbladder to take as a tonic. But every day these unspeakable things happen to real bears all over the world. Help us stop it. Call WSPA's Liberty Campaign on 071-793-0540.
Last Christmas, I hung the little angels on the Christmas tree and Stephen helped me. And then, Mum and Dad went out to a party and Stephen and I were in bed. And then I woke up and there was smoke and Stephen was crying and I ran and shouted for Mum, but she didn't come. And then Stephen stopped crying. That was last Christmas. Fire can break out at any time. This Christmas, don't leave your children alone in the house. Help us be there for children. Visit thereforthem.com. Tonight, John will die in his sleep. He's warm, comfortable, and has his family by his side. Place to electrify. Oh, that's for fighting little kids. It's right if you don't touch anything. I've seen people working up there. Yeah, well, um, I don't particularly want to mess around with this type of stuff. It's not worth it. You're just scared of getting caught. Don't take a chance with electricity. He was stupid. Trying to prove how tough he was. I had a go at them kids. Why do you fly your kites around here, eh? We thought it would be okay, but the wind changed. Lucky they let go of it. They'd have been electrocuted. We should have told the police. I suppose he never knew about high voltage electricity. You're crazy! He ignored the danger signs. Leave it there! He was stupid. He wouldn't come down. He didn't know electricity would go through the kite. It just jumped through thin air. Climbing pylons can kill. Don't take a chance with electricity.
Like most victims, Julie knew her killer. It was her son, who was sitting behind her without a seatbelt. After crushing her to death, he sat back down. When friends told Kate smoking heroin would make her feel good, they forgot to tell her something else. How bad it would also make her feel. How she'd start to look tired, spotty, and unhealthy. How she'd lose her friends, her looks, and her interest in everything but heroin. How she'd soon have to take heroin not to get high, but just to stop feeling down. How she'd eventually risk blood disease, liver damage, even heart failure. Yeah, I'm still alive, I suppose. Don't be a dummy. Heroin really does screw you up. As the hepatitis C virus enters your bloodstream during drug injection, it begins the journey towards the liver. You may not become ill immediately. It can lie quietly sleeping for months or years before beginning to stir. Cirrhosis can follow. So too can liver cancer. Call the National Drugs Helpline on 0800 77 for more information and help pass on the word, not the virus. Fingers crossed. Start time 0, 09, 15 hours. Gunshot wound to right side of chest, 0 0.9 centimetres diameter. Photograph of that, please. Service is so expensive. My cousin had subsidence. Cost her a fortune. Bruising to right wrist, consistent with witness reports that deceased firearm was turned against him. Passed through underlying pectoralis muscle before shattering right fifth rib. Right line, 420 grams.
Who can tell me? Hands up. Nine times eight. Sally, do you know the answer? Uh... <laughs> Shush. Do you want to come by my house after school? No. Nah. I'm fine. Can I go now? So did you win at football then? Yeah, of course we did. Well, because you're the best. Yep. Yeah, I thought so. So, uh, do you want a bit of fun before your parents get back? Doing what? You know, just a bit of fun. <laughs> Let's just watch this. Oh, come on. I'll tell everyone you're frigid. Well, why would you do that? Well, you basically are being now. Well, no, not really, because we've already done it. Yeah, but you said we would tonight. Then you drag me over oh, here and now you say it's not happening. Let's just watch this, all right? I don't know when my mum's going to be back. No, I don't want to. No, I don't want to. How about a cuddle? What always happens at the end of a cuddle? Well, who's that? Nicole. Oh, you and your mates. What are you doing? That's your fault, that. I've only just got this. <gasps> don't talk to me like that. And anyway, why are you talking to Nicole? You know I don't like her. So I'm not even allowed friends now, I'm not. I've got arms, you mate. Can you just let go of me? You really hate me. Look at you. You're pathetic. Oh, leave her alone. Please, can you just let go of me, all right? No, what are you doing? I'll do it. You're going to have to put some work in to get me ready now. Well, go on then. Show me something. Come on, let's get back downstairs. Be in a bit. Be in a bit. What are you doing? Stop being rude. I don't want to. Look, we'll go downstairs in a bit. No! No, I don't want to! Let go!
Oh yeah. You know those ones where? Oh, hold on. Glad to get this, buddy. Hello, Martin. Wasn't expecting to hear from you today. Well, wasn't Steve supposed to be sorting that out on Friday? Problem. Alice is one of thousands of St John Ambulance volunteers. She's fully trained in first aid and knows what to do in any situation. Say something, buddy. She can be the difference between life and death. But what she can't do is be there every time. Briefly. Help! Help! the gourmet food in the Far East, despite the fact they're dangerously close to extinction. There is a charity dedicated to conserving all the world's endangered species through action and education, Tusk Force. To make a donation, call this number before it's too late. Shall I tell you about my life? I've got everything I need I wouldn't ask more And there's no one I'd rather be Never, ever drink and drive could you live with the shame? From DOE, supported by AXA Insurance. somebody. I was driving home in the morning when I thought I was okay, but obviously I wasn't. I've left a husband and children without a mother and a wife, and I've got to live with that for the rest of my life. Very vivid nightmares. More realistic than anything I can actually remember. I'm just very sorry for my victims. The, the husband and the children and her family. I am dying from motor neurone disease. Every day I'm more helpless as my muscles waste away. There is no cure for my disease and no hope for me. But I want there to be hope for others.
broken window, two points. Direct hit on driver, six points. Your name, dear? Sharon Clark. Well done, you three. Replica guns are being converted into real guns. They are easily available and require no license. They are toys that kill. Visit mothersagainstguns.net and help us get a total ban of replica guns. matches away from children. Happy birthday to you! Make a wish! Granny! Hello! Have you done your homework? Adam! The general strike. Ready or not? Here he comes! Violent clashes with British. Live ammunition against. Deserve to get shot. Have a nice day, Bye, Mom. Air strikes on rebel position. We are going to stay. Tony! Go!
<laughs> Country's just not safe anymore. We've got to leave. Into the deep dark. No, no, great. getting closer. That's the hospital. Camps have been raided. Merry Christmas. Now you need to go somewhere! Get off! Get off! Get off! Get off! Get off! How are we supposed to get from there to there? Just take the things that you need. See you there! City under siege. Checkpoint! Constant bleeding! They've only got enough for one. Oh my god, no! I will find you. You really want to get that? I'm not getting on the boat without you! That's all I've got left. 68th of May 2003. It's today, happy birthday. I hope you made a wish. Um, and, and what, what are your are parents' you names? Lily, I know this is hard. Can you tell me her parents' names? Lily? Get out alive. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Is she gonna four, be alright? Look, make her be alright. Oh, Calm down. Sir. Are you the driver of the vehicle, sir? No pulse, no response. Oh. Oh. Have you been drinking, sir? Starting up. Just a quick one. I thought I'd be okay. Stand clear. Charging up. Stand She's clear. Gonna be on. They're doing the best they can. Still no pulse. Still no response. People's not reacting. Still nothing. The patient is now asystolic. I didn't mean it. Oh. <laughs> I am the spirit of dark and lonely water ready to trap the unwary, the show-off, the fool. And this is the kind of place you'd expect to find me. But no one expects to find me here. It seems too ordinary. But that pool is deep. The boy is showing off. The bank is slippery. The show-offs are easy. But the unwary ones are easier still. This branch is weak, rotten. It'll never take his way. Only a fool would ignore this. But there's one born every minute. Under the water there are traps, old cars, bedsteads, weeds, hidden depths. It's the perfect place for an accident. Sensible children. I have no power over them. Oh, I might. That's stupid. 
tries to swim. Hey, go over and get that thing to wrap him in. He's gonna have to feel cold, mate. How long is he on there? Ew, all the things. I'll be back. What's she always on about this kid about it? Oh, I don't know. I said to her last week, I said, you know, you won't too much about Stephen. Stephen's in school next year, that'll soon sort him out. Yeah, well, that's her look at, it? Should have been stricter with him at the right time. Yeah, well, you're too strict, you are. I'm not strict, I'm fair. No doubt Kevin in the arm, is it? Yeah, we can't hold kids back, though. I'm not saying hold him back. I'm saying there's such a thing as discipline. Fair discipline. Oh, I still say he got to a line. Anyway, where is Kevin this afternoon? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I think he said he was going around to see Stephen. Yeah, that's another thing I don't like either. Them playing together. There's enough kids round here judging by the route the weekend. Jim! If your child was killed or badly injured in a firework accident like this, you'd probably blame the parents of the other children. But your children are your responsibility. Make sure yours aren't meddling with fireworks this bonfire night. Hey, what are you doing? No, you haven't done anything. That's why you're the state. Pick it up! Pick it up! Every week, two women in England and Wales are killed by their partner or ex-partner. And nine times out of ten, a child is in the same or the next room. Last year, Refuge, the domestic violence charity, helped 10,000 women and their children find somewhere to run to. Domestic violence. It's a matter of life or death. Adrenaline surges through the body. Heart racing. Blood pumping. Breathless. Exhausted. Gasping for air. An intense burning pain as the wire rips through skin. <coughs> Cutting deep. Tightening. Crushing the windpipe. Forcing the tongue against the inner cavity of the throat. Attempts to cry out go unheard. Trapped with no means of escape. Death is painful. Death is slow.
gentleman word with you over here, please, madam. Is this all your baggage, madam? The outcome of a sentimental impulse could mean a sentence of death for the animal you love and couldn't leave behind, and for you or someone like you, death in a manner that is beyond description. Whichever way you look at it, rabies means death. Spots, rotten teeth, depression, anxiety attacks, personality changes, paranoia. Take speed, echi or acid and you can develop any of them. because the quality of water used in the production of scotch whiskey is of great what significance. What I describe as an obvious injustice is that the value of luncheon vouchers has not increased for many years. Hear, hear, hear. I suggest that every dog should wear a disc, which would be not only a form of identification, but a sign that the license fee had been paid. Every Sunday, sporting events take place at which the Sunday Observance Act, 1780, is openly and flagrantly breached caused by the imposition of VAT on chocolate biscuits. Now, this is a very serious matter for the biscuit eaters of this country. What quantity of still and carbonated waters were sold in the House of Commons refreshment yeah, department yeah, yeah, in the last... Yeah, year? Yeah, yeah. Order, order. What your MP isn't talking about is that five million children die in the third world every year. That's the equivalent of all the under fives in Britain, France, Italy, Spain and Germany. And they don't talk about why the aid we give to the third world is worth less than half what it was seven years ago. It would only take about a dozen letters to make your MP talk about that instead. Or maybe you think what they're talking about at present is more important.
Elena didn't think anyone would hurt her. Elena trusted everyone. Maria doesn't trust anyone. Elena wanted to learn English. Maria gets beaten if she says no. Elena worked in a market to support her family. Maria works for nothing. Elena wanted to help people and be a nurse. Maria services up to 40 men a day. Elena used to cry when her father was cross with her. Maria doesn't feel anything anymore. Elena's family thinks she's dead. Help me. I was Elena. I am Maria. Help me. I'm here. Okay. Hi, hey, you alright? Hi, Yolt. What's up? Hello. Hi. Come on, where's my fish fingers? <laughs> no, no, no. Do you want to no. pick up the kids from school tomorrow? Yeah, if you don't mind. No, blood. That Ray Vestal was big, I like. No, it was huge. Bad, I bet you any money, Anton fought the show. I bet you that, man. It doesn't matter what the occasion. Birthday, christenings, my man always finds a way to the show. Though, yeah. It's a good thing you man never come because it was a big hype thing going about last night. See, that's yeah. why I like having yeah. younger brothers and sisters. I stay indoors while the beef stays outside. Sometimes we can't bear to look either, but cruelty to children can be stopped, and with your help, it can be stopped forever. Please support the NSPCC's new Full Stop campaign.
I can't wait till I grow up. I have the right to be happy. To be kept safe, to be kept warm. To feel loved, to be listened to, to be heard. To never, ever, ever cower or tremble or shake. Or have my innocence punched or kicked or screamed away. I'll fight for the rights of children like me, who don't have a childhood. I can't wait until I grow up. Join the fight for children's rights. Now you know how it feels to get motor neurone disease. Help us fight back.
you on about? I'm blinding at table tennis. Well, come on then. Well, I don't want to play any more table tennis. I'm sick of table tennis. I want to live. I want to have a good time. Come on, Jane. You know what you like? Yeah, it's like a big spot. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do then? Give us a squeeze. Let's have a pot. No way to have a party, stupid. Here, let's play chicken on the track. Let's have a bit of a laugh. It's better than hanging around. That's wicked bugs me fast. Could have brought a Tesco trolley. That's good for a laugh. Why don't we go to Dave's? He's got some really good videos. Oh, that's really hard. Come on, I dare you. No, I'd just rather go to Jennifer's. I was going to take those records tonight. It's quicker this way. No, it isn't. She's right, it isn't. Anyway, crossing the track, stupid. Well, if you think you're so stupid, you go round a long way and we'll see you in a week or so, chicken. I'm not a chicken, idiot. Well, come on, Jane. Oh, I don't know why you want to do it anyway. You're mad. I don't want to end up dead. I'm going home, you look and get squashed for all I care. Go on, Jane. You go home to your mum. Have a chicken dinner, it'll suit you. Yeah, well, it's better than ending up looking like one, idiot. Oh, come on, Jane. Nothing's going to happen to us. It's just a load of stories. Honestly, Shirley, I don't know what you see in this lot. See you later. Oh, she's just a pain. I don't know why she gets like that sometimes. She's got no bottle, that's her problem. Hey, there's a really good horror thing on TV. We're going to miss it if we don't go back. Oh, come on, you lot. Let's have a laugh. Let's be dangerous. That was well easy. We are the champions. We are the champions. Come on, Andy. I thought you wanted to see that TV programme. I'm coming. It's turned chicken. What is it, Andy? Think the ghost train's going to get you? Come on, Andy. It's all right. The line's only live when the train's coming. The railway line and the overhead cables have electricity running through them all the time, not just when a train is coming. They are live even on Christmas and New Year's Day. This is a real waste of time. I don't know why he hangs around with us anyway. Here, Andy. Why don't you go home with Jane? You're both chicken. I'll put a sock in it, Darren. Oh, he's so hard. All you've got to do is walk across. It won't kill you. The electric rail has 630 to 750 volts of electricity running through it all the time. This is three times more powerful than the electricity supply in your home. It will easily kill you. If you're lucky, it will just seriously burn or disfigure you. Come on, chicken. He's probably going to lay an egg. Come on, Andy, get your act together. We're going to miss that program. You're all right. This tracks as dead as those overhead cables. The overhead electric cable has 25,000 volts of electricity running through it. It's live all the time. It will easily kill you. You don't even have to touch it, as the electricity can jump. If you're lucky, you'll just get seriously burned and disfigured. Come on, Andy! Come on! Oh, Andy. Come on. You're always so slow! Come on, we're going to have to go and help him. This is stupid. I'm going in in a minute. I've had enough of this. Come on, Andy, we're going. I think I can hear a train coming. Well, I can hear something. Andy, come on, you've nearly done it. He's left. He's having a sleep. He's tired, Andy. Shut up, Darren, he's hurt. Come on, let's go and get him. We can't just leave him there. It's a joke. If the train comes, it'll see him and stop. The normal speed of an express train is between 175 and 225 kilometers an hour. It weighs over 400 metric tons. It will take at least two kilometers to stop in an emergency. It cannot swerve. It can only travel in a straight line. It will hit and crush whatever gets in its way. Come on! Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up! going to be sick.
I just thought it'd be a bit of a laugh. Every year, over 200 people are killed on the railway. What had actually happened is, when Daniel had got onto the train, he had met a group of friends. They thought they would have a laugh and try getting out of the train and riding on the outside for a short period of time and taking it in turns and when it was Daniel's turn he climbed out of the train and got onto the roof after a short while he was hit by an overhead bridge which knocked him onto the track and he died. He was 16. When I saw him in the chapel, I, I cradled him in my arms like he was a baby and I cuddled him and I kept kissing him and it was then that I realised it was final that Danny wouldn't grow up anymore and he would never get married and he would never be the computer whiz kid that he was going to be and he couldn't go to college and he couldn't play football and I just knew he would never come back. Here this child was screaming and crying. His clothes were actually on fire. I just thought it'd be a bit of a laugh. The parents actually wanted to go and see him and I had to explain why they couldn't see him, how there was absolutely nothing of their son that they would recognise. That was a public information film.